Welcome back guys. So now we will check the layer options. So for each layer, as you see here, you have this three dots and this three dots will give you different options based on what layer you're working on. So as you see here, we have so many options, but when you do that for this layer, you don't have as many options as uh, you see for this layer right here. So every single layer will have some different options based on the type of the layer and if you are the owner of this layer or not. So the first option we have here is zoom to and when you click on zoom to it will just zoom your extent to this layer location and then here we have transparency so you can change the transparency for this layer so for example here let's show the states and change the transparency to be no transparency at all or change it to be like half transparency like it was before so we can see the base layer so we can change the transparency of any layer uh, from here here also you can change the state visibility range and this will be the minimum and maximum scale so for this layer right here let's hide the other texas address and we have this one right here we can change the visibility to for example from a room area like here the good thing about this scale that it shows you a perspective of the scale you will set your layer to the minimum scale and the maximum scale so here i'm saying i want to see my layer on a room scale and it will look like that on the map and don't show the map if i am zoom out beyond a neighborhood so right now when i zoom out i don't see the layer and when i zoom in more i will see my layer so that's how you can set up your visibility range so you can change it for any layer if you want and here you have the option to rename it so here i can rename my layer so for example i will say here renamed and i'll say okay and that will change the layer name right here so you can name any layer however you want as you see here i did a rename for all the layers before this video because i want to differentiate the type for each file right here and that's how you can change uh, the name instead of holding and grabbing it up or down you can come here and say move down it will move one step below or you can move it up and it will go to the top and the next thing here we have a copy so for example I can choose this layer I copy it and then it will create a copy for me right here so I can work on it I can create a different filter I can show it in a different symbology I can rename it I can work on it as a different layer but it's just a copy of this one right here and then here we have the option to hide in legend and this one will hide it from the legend right here so right now we have in the legend we have the texas address renamed dash copy here if i don't want to show it in the legend right here i will just come here and say hide in legend and when i come back to the legend you will see that it doesn't exist on the legend anymore and the next option here we have is remove so this one i just copy it to show you how i can copy it so i'll just click remove and it will be uh, deleted from my map and it will be removed from the content window and if you want to add it again you need to add it uh, from here as we did before and the next option is to remove pop-up so right now we have the pop-ups here as you see when we click on any feature for this specific layer we can see the pop-up right here and now we will disable the pop-up and say remove pop-up and now when I click on any feature nothing happened and no pop-ups came up uh, and that's how you can enable or disable the pop-ups the next option is to configure the pop-up and there's so many options here that we will make a separate video for this part but here you configure your pop-up and how you want it to look like you can add extra attributes you can remove attributes and you can define how your pop-up will look like and also you configure the editing options from the pop-up configuration as well and we will make a separate video for that so we can talk about it in more details and here also the options here we have is create labels and here we can enable the labels exactly like ArcGIS desktop or ArcGIS Pro when I create labels you will see that for each point it will have a certain field that show the labels and you can change what field you want to show you can change the font for this labels and you can change the text size you can change the color the style create a halo define what position your labels will be from here so the options here is a lot but you can customize your label however you want and after you finish you click OK to apply the changes or you click cancel to cancel your changes 
and then the next option here is description and as you see here it's disabled because as I told you some layers will have some options that will not be available for the other layers because this one is just a text file that we added from our computer it doesn't have any description but if I go to this layer right here because this one is a feature service published on ArcGIS server by Esri when I click here I can see description about this layer so here it will open in a new tab the description for this layer and this is the URL we use to add this layer to our map and the next option here we have is save layer and now you can save this layer on your content because we uploaded this file from our machine now it's on our map we can actually save it as a part of our content so here we don't have this layer as a content but when you click save layer you can save it as a content to your map and here I'll say Texas create item and now it's creating the item in my content after it finished we will go to the content and we will see that we have our layer after we refresh and now as you see we just saved our layer which is actually a text file now it's saved in our content as a feature layer and when I go back to this map or any other map when I add content and I say I want to search for a layer inside my content you'll see that I have two different types of layers that I can add the Texas file that I just saved and the one that we added uh, from online uh, right here and that's how you can save your layers as feature layer on your ArcGIS online public account you go to the details you add your layer by adding it from your computer and when it show up right here you click here and say save layer as and you save it as a feature layer inside your content so you can add it to any other map or anyone can actually view this as a layer on ArcGIS online uh, so that's the last option we have right here and now as you see when I click here remember the description didn't show because right now this layer is saved on our content so it have an item details so when I click show item details it will open a new tab in my ArcGIS online account and it will show me the details for this layer because it's part of my content right now so when you add it to the map it's just a temporary data but when you save it to your content it became a feature layer anyone can access it anyone can view it and it have its own item details that you can change right here so that's all the options for this type of layer if you check the other layers you might see the same options and some other layers will have more options like for example this one this one have the same exact thing but here it have an extra item called refresh interval so because this data is saved on another server it is actually updated automatically so that means if you want to see the data refreshed instead of you opening the map or close it again you can set a refresh interval here I, I can say refresh this data every one minute right now every one minute this specific layer will be updated and bring from uh, the database any new data so this option right here depends on what type of data you have if it is a feature service that people can update it will show that you can update it if it is a map service or any other type of data it will not show refresh interval also still there are some other options exist for some layers so for example this one the wallet transportation when I click here I will see another option that doesn't exist in all the other layers called move to base map and this one will make this layer as our base map so when I click on it my base map change it and now include the world transportation as part of my base map and that's it for the layer options what options you have right here when you click on any layer now you know all the options now you know why you might see some options for a layer you cannot find it on the other layer it always depends on if you are the owner of this layer or what is the type of this layer or this feature service so thank you so much and in the next video we will focus on the attribute table for the layers thanks